Okay, the next question to all candidates, and this time we'll start on Amanda's side. Uh, if Congress or state legislators pass a law that conflicts with the Constitution, should the law enforcement enforce that law? I think this is a question trying to pull us into a constitutional county conversation. Am I correct about this? That's and more. right? And um, I don't really understand that. And I don't know how a law could be passed if it is unconstitutional. Think of the mandates from COVID for one. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't think, and the question was, should our law enforcement be able to, what was the question? To enforce a law that goes against our constitution. I do think as law enforcement, don't you take an oath to follow the constitution? Absolutely. And so if there is a law that doesn't support, that, this is a this is a tongue twister mind tire. So if the constitution give give me okay, so the mask mandate came down. That was for public safety, and I think that was for being a better neighbor. I live in the middle of nowhere and got to work remotely, so I don't know much about that. But I don't think when it comes down to our sheriff threatening to arrest public officials that are doing their job that they would lose, I don't think he should enforce that law. Thank you. Okay, Todd. Uh, so this is Civics 101, and this is deciding what, why so many people, why we have so many immigrants that have always come here, is because we are one of the few governments that we don't have a constitution that gives the people the rights. We have the rights, and we we allow the government. You know, so that, so so it's, it's not that we are our rights are within us. The government doesn't have the right to do any of these things over us. So uh, this is you know. So if someone goes in there and makes a law, so so I grew up in the South. Uh, there were still, you know, when you go to some of these towns on the books, there were still some of these things like blacks couldn't use these drinking fountains or, or, or something like that. So you want a sheriff arresting someone because that's on the books? Or, or you have someone going in there? So all law enforcement, how many in here, in here have been pulled over by the cops and not gotten a ticket? I did. All right. Yeah, so, so at least half of you. They have, they have a certain amount of sway, uh, but also they... They have an oath to the Constitution, and if I'm sworn in, I will have to give the same oath because that Constitution is the law of the land, and and then the courts can work some of those things out. So you see all the time that governments make crazy decisions that are unconstitutional and, and illegal and should not be passed. Why was why were some businesses allowed to be shut down, and yet you go over to Walmart and it's packed to the hilt for public safety? No, that was a that was an insane law that should not. Why should these big corporations be allowed to stay open? So I was shopping at Costco and Walmart, and they were packed. And that was the first time where I'm like, I'm not a germaphobe, but I go in there and I'm like afraid for my life. I'm like, this is like, this is like going to a, a petting zoo. This is like packed to the hilt, and they're saying this is safe, but I can't go to my local Ace Hardware. So that's why the Constitution is important. Go ahead, Dan. Um, quick and easy, the sheriff uh, is the only elected official that gets to decide whether he's going to enforce the law or not. Uh, and thank God for that. Uh, because, yeah, I'm sorry, Amanda, the state tends to pass a lot of laws that are unconstitutional. Um, like, you have to lock up your firearms that the Supreme Court's already ruled that's unconstitutional. Uh, but the state does it anyway because they know they can tie it up in court for three years. Um, and that's all they want. So um, I support the sheriff being able to pick and choose which laws he wants to enforce because every sheriff has that right. 
Um, so that's all I have to say. Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, thanks. I'll just make it quick and short. The sheriff has to use a common sense approach. I'll just leave it at that. Enforcing the Constitution is that. Your common sense approach. <laughs>